Do you know how to hook up all the electronics on a Maxidib? No? Let me show you. You're on the boat show. It all starts with an empty hull, where the shipyard prepares the wiring in slang braids to power the various elements engine, radar, pumps, and so on. To better understand the whole process, today we are at Technorib, who, together with Simrad, creates a perfect union. Once the braids are laid, you move on to the standard Simrad kit. The plotter acts as a central braid and relates to the onboard instrument through a particular wiring that creates a dedicated network, NMEA2000. Through these T-connectors, the onboard instrumentation enters the NMEA network to then reach the plotter which, processing the signal, reproduces the data on the screens. However, not all tools have the ability to communicate directly with the plotter. If this had two screens, in order for the radar to be displayed independently on both and not be bound only to the mother one, it needs the NEP control unit. The engine, Mercury in this case, in order to communicate to its full potential with the plotter, needs his dedicated interface, which is then reconnected to the NMEA network of the entire system. Home automation is separated from the NMEA network of navigation instruments. Lights, wipers, horn are all utilities conveyed to the Egon control unit, which carry the signal through their NMEA network dedicated to the OP box model, a separated brain which processes the data and communicates with the central plotter. In the OP box, the shipyard will upload its own graphic of the boat. That's it, and this is how they do it. And now we can play with it.